Metaverses are invading our reality. But what happens if we allow realism to invade the metaverses? In this video, we will demonstrate how to add your lifelike avatars to VRChat. To follow this tutorial, you will need an account at VRChat which has the Allowed to Publish Avatars status. VRChat limits the avatar and word creation feature access for new users. If you are not allowed to publish avatars, you will need to spend more hours in the game to achieve the status. See the VRChat Safety and Trust System documentation page. You will also need to install a specific version of Unity and VRChat Creator Companion software. The current recommended version of Unity can be found in the documentation. We recommend to install it using Unity Hub or Creator Companion. Please see the description of this video for links. If you choose Unity Hub, open the Installs Part section and press Add. Then visit the Download Archive and find the desired version of Unity. Click Unity Hub and let the installer process the installation. Please note that since this version is already installed on our computer, nothing will happen if we try to install it again. After installation, make sure that you provided the path to Unity Binary in the VR Chat Creator Companion settings. Now it's time to create and customize the avatar. Open the MetaPerson Creator site and click the Create an Avatar button. Then select the photo. Click on the Generate button. After this, the process of creating an avatar begins. When it is completed, you will see your avatar on the scene. You can customize the look of your avatar and change the outfit. Try creating an outfit texture using the AI generator, providing your own hint, or choosing one of the preset ones. Let's customize the hair color of our avatar. Please note that the default generated haircut is recommended for use with VR chat due to performance reasons. When the avatar is ready, you need to export it. But before that, the MetaPerson creator will ask you to sign in. Provide your email in the corresponding field and enter the receive code from the email. After signing in, the export process begins. The archive with the exported avatar will be downloaded to your local drive. Check out the MetaPerson Creator tutorial on our official YouTube channel to learn more about cool avatar customizations. Let's go back to the VR Chat Creator Companion and create a new project. Set the project name and project location in the corresponding fields. You will need to select the Avatars Project Template to proceed. When the project is created, click the Open Project button in the right upper corner of the window. When Unity gets loaded, you will see the newly created empty scene. Let's bring our avatar to the scene, extract files from the downloaded archive, and drag the FBX to the Assets directory of your Unity project. After that, let's extract textures and materials provided with FBX into the project folder. When textures and materials are extracted, we can bring our model to the scene. Let's put it in the center. It's better to save the scene so that we will not lose our progress. Select the model in the hierarchy and add the VRC avatar descriptor component to it. Now let's configure lip sync. Choose the Visine Blend Shape mode in the corresponding list and provide a reference to the avatar head object. 
Most of the Visums will be automatically mapped, but some of them may fail. Check that the Visim name on the left is the same as selected in the Canva box. Fix selection manually if there is a mismatch. Now let's set up the eye look. Provide references to the left eye and right eye bones. After that, configure rotation angles for each rotation state. They are used to define the animation of looking in different directions. You can see the recommended rotation angle values on the screen. Let's wrap up the avatar configuration by adding the animator to it and setting up rig parameters. Click on the Add Component button and choose the animator. After that, go to the Model Import Settings and open the Rig tab. Choose the Humanoid Animation Type and click Apply. You will also need to provide a reference to the avatar in your animator. Now let's proceed to the VR Chat Control Panel. You will need to sign in with your VR Chat account. Please make sure that your account is allowed to publish avatars. Now open the Builder tab. Your avatar requires a thumbnail to be published and you can easily capture it from the scene. You will also need name and description. Set your avatar's visibility to public. In the validation section, you can see the checklist for your avatar. Some issues can be fixed automatically, others will limit your avatar performance but won't be a showstopper. When all the critical problems have been resolved, you may proceed to the offline testing. Click Build and Test and wait for Unity to prepare your avatar. When your avatar is ready, you will see the corresponding message at the bottom of the control panel. Now we can go to VR Chat and open the Avatar section. Then select the Other section and choose the model we just created in Unity. If you are happy with the way your avatar looks and animates, you can go back to the Unity project and publish your avatar. A few moments later, your avatar will be uploaded to VR Chat and will be accessible online. Your newly created avatar is accessible in the Avatars section of the VR Chat menu. This way, you can create more realistic avatars for VR Chat than ever before. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to our channel to receive notifications about the new tutorials.